Eli went out on the street and asked people if they knew what net neutrality was. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you can imagine the results were uh, highly entertaining. So take a look at this and we'll be right back. I think about net neutrality every day because I'm a huge nerd and Tim Wu is my hero. But I'm here in the Flatiron District in New York to ask these people what they think about it. If they even know what it is, and most importantly, if they think anything should be done about it. What is net neutrality? What? Net neutrality. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. So I've seen various uh, YouTube tutorials or, you know, explanations of net neut neutrality, and all of them make sense once I finished watching them. But when you asked me what it is, it's fairly complicated to explain. So let me ask you a question. Who owns the internet? I want to say people own the internet. The people. The data is owned by the people that have the data on their servers, and the connections to the data is owned by the ISPs, the providers. You know, the problem really is, this is basically impossible to explain. I mean, what can you say? Do you want to pay more for YouTube? So do you think like Verizon should, could say, like, you can go to every site on the internet except for YouTube? No. If you, no? I don't think they should. But if you want YouTube, you have to pay an extra $5? No, absolutely not. So no, you, that's so stupid. I think that's the point of YouTube. It wouldn't be cool, but it's business. This is awful. Nobody knows what net neutrality is. Uh, when they do find out, they don't want to talk about it because it's really political. But in the spirit of this election year, I'm going to get desperate. I'm calling Barack Obama, and I'm calling Mitt Romney. Let's see what they have to say. This is Beverly. I'm going to help you. Hi. Um, where does the president stand on, on net neutrality? On net neutrality? Yeah. Do you know what net neutrality is? No, I don't. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? So who should have more regulatory power over the internet? The government or Verizon? Verizon. Even though Verizon sells you a product, they should be the ones who determine how that product works. That makes sense, because if anything ever goes wrong, you know who to go to. Romney for president, this is Scott speaking. Hi there, I'm uh, really interested in voting for Mitt Romney, um, but I have a, a policy question. I'm just wondering what his position on uh, net neutrality is. On the net neutrality, uh, let's see here. I don't recall if it's come up as a, a major issue on the campaign that I can recall, but I've got a source for you that can tell you. You want to call the policy hotline? Thank you for calling the Romney for President National Headquarters. Your call is important to us. If you'd like to leave a message, please do so. You just sent me back to the fucking phone tree. More information about our offices around the country and the I gotta say, man. You can't just keep on putting me into robot town like this. You know what happens? You press zero when you call Romney headquarters. It tells you to wait. And then it takes you to the top of the phone tree. So this has been the worst day of my life. Nobody knows what net neutrality is. Nobody cares about it. Nobody even really wants to talk about it with me. Um, not even the president or Mitt. I thought Mitt would be on my side. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a break, maybe have a drink, maybe throw myself in front of a bus. Good night, Internet. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> a, uh, an upsetting story, uh, one we hope will find an end someday.